Alright, what's up guys? So, Be Amazed has uploaded a video titled Gamers Caught Cheating Part 5. I'm saying, man, people that still cheat today in games, like, I, I just feel that gaming is just not, e not even in a state for cheating to be happening. Like, why? <laughs> it's just, man, people. Look, my thing is, is this. If you suck at the game, don't play it or get better at it or, you know, find another game that you can. Because my thing is this. Look, there are games out there. There's this new game that just came out called uh, Contain. I died within the first few minutes of the mission. My thing is this. I would rather sit down, practice on the game than to get caught cheating. I just, man, it's, it's one of those things where I'm like, I... I feel like I done did a lot of, like, not even, like, not even so much as with content creating, but just throughout my life, I have played a lot of video games. Maybe, like, back in, like, the Grand Theft Auto days where, you know, you typed in the cheat code to get $250,000, a bunch of weapons, ammo, and all that crap. Yeah, sure. But now, I'm like, where I, and I think I said this before, I was like, now, like, where you be getting achievements for stuff in games, I'm like, yeah, bro, I just don't, I don't see it, but it seems like... I remember that like that transition from PlayStation 2 to 3, and they were like, okay, if you use cheat codes, you're not going to get any achievements. That's when I stopped, and it seems like nowadays, it's like you get banned from a video game. Ain't no need for cheating, bro. It's like, people, y'all got to stop with that. But anyways, make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Be Amazed for more videos like this. And then that being said... Here's a question. What percentage of gamers do you think use cheats? Now, really think about it. How many are using them to catch every Pokemon, spawn any Minecraft item, or lock on to their enemies in Call of Duty? Maybe 25%, 30%? And I was thinking well, according 20. to a survey from trainer software provider Plitch, a staggering 57% wow. of gamers admitted to using cheats. Anonymously, wow. obviously. While using cheats privately in single-player games doesn't really negatively affect anyone, streaming with them on using them to publicly break world records, or playing with them in mass multiplayer games and even tournaments is a huge problem. The need to cheat for the sake of clout has gotten out of control, but not everyone gets away with it. With that, let's take a look at even more gamers. <laughs> Knew they was gonna have Nadia here at some point. I, you know, cause I know people probably ask like, do you think she really be cheating? And it's like, I mean, if she has, then I mean, yeah, I think she ain't got exposed for that type of stuff. So it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, people, you know, she, you, you, you can't be cheating. And then and I think that's what it is. Is like, she'll, um, get mad because she don't be getting invited out to these tournaments and stuff. And it's like, well, if you got like a rep for like cheating in the games, they probably don't want that to be involved with whatever tournament and thing. So I guess more so my advice to her and any other creator out there, if you want to get invited out to these tournaments and, you know, have it where you got a good reputation, don't cheat, or at least prove that you're not cheating. But anyways, cheating. I know people probably ask, like, how do you prove yourself not cheating? Just play the game and get good. Mingo style. Tom Tommy Trewin is a veteran Call of Duty player who, since 2010, has been part of professional teams that have won more than 70 tournament matches. Dang. It's fair to say Tommy knows this game well. So, when he was pitted against Mingo Style in the quarterfinals of the 2v2 Warzone Checkmate Gaming Tournament back in 2020, who had a weirdly high kill-to-death ratio of 5.2, uh, Tommy was suspicious. He and his partner, Almixson, called Mingo Style's gameplay into question and asked him to set up a monitor cam so they could be sure he wasn't using cheats. Mingo Style obliged. But then, in a move of pure idiocy, he exposed himself for the world to see. Was that it? <laughs> Did you see it? Now let's run it. That back. thing, that that menu Watch that popped up. Cam footage here, and there it is. We've covered it enough times in previous parts of this series to know that little gray pop-up box is our old pal engine owning. This is a cheat software that offers everything from aimbots, which allow players to lock on to their opponents, to That's walls, crazy. giving them the unfair advantage of seeing through walls, terrain, and objects. 
Dominic. Knowing me, I, I will probably be like, you know what? No, I'm going to cheat. Forget this crap, man. I'm, I'm sick and tired of being uh, bad at Call of Duty. No, I'm going to cheat now. I feel like I would use that cheat, get caught cheating, and still would take an L. Like, I would use I would use that software and be thinking like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do good today. Still go like 0 and 47 and things and uh, um, do what? Search and Destroy, Warzone, and every other. Um, but like, that's, I, that's, that's how bad I am in games. I feel like I'll use a cheat and I'll still take a nail. Followers quickly alerted him to Mingo Style's slip up and Tommy rightfully crucified him. But Mingo Style had an excuse. Go Ben, back out. Bro, what the crap? Okie dokie. Put your sheet up, everyone clip it quick. Bro, I'm messing around, get a There's grip. No Way. How are you Ben's messing around? Oh, mate, I'm oh, around mate, Hell it's got a picture. Yeah, Just a picture? That you decide wow. in your infinite wisdom to flash up mid tournament. Now that's some real smooth brain logic. But Mingo style was adamant it was the truth, going as far as to claim it was just a picture on Twitter and that it was all just a joke. Unwilling to let the matter go, Tommy asked Mingo style to send him the supposed picture he'd flashed up, and that's when Tommy buried him. <laughs> Look at that. He said he's that image. <laughs> Even I knew what he was asking for. He meant like the picture of the menu that he had pop up on the screen because the thing is, is this. If it's a picture, right, usually it'll have like a window, like, you know, thing somewhere to like let you know that it's a picture. And I'm like, you don't see no window thing besides the uh, window thing for the app that he's using. So, yeah, it's like, fam, you... <laughs> That's wow. Wow. Is that image? Is that? He hasn't even got the same dimensions. <laughs> dimensions. <laughs> Man, I love the British. But aside, <laughs> it was clear Mingo Style had sent a completely different picture. Oh, that's. Mate Gaming ignored his lies and banned him, which streaming site Twitch also did shortly after. Oh, he wow. He's active on socials, though, eventually admitting to using cheats while pointing the finger at other potential cheaters, which gained him no attention whatsoever. Dang. If only he'd provided some proof they were cheating by using, uh, I don't know, a picture? <laughs> Mr. Wow. Swayze. The only thing more frustrating than seeing someone blatantly cheating is watching them stream themselves while blatantly Dang, got cheating. You know, the ones I'm talking about. Music, triple Call monitor set up. Whose gameplay has red and yellow boxes around all their opponents. They know that with their chronic lack of talent, the only way to get noticed as a streamer is to openly use these hacks. Otherwise, no one would pay attention to them. That's what a Facebook gaming streamer by the name of Mr. Slazy, or Dad Shark Gaming, is all too happy to do. So sad. So very That's sad. crazy, man. Well, back in 2021, Mr. Slazy was running his usual gambit of streaming himself, ruining games for other people, just to boost his super fragile ego, when he took out the wrong player. It was someone many of you are probably familiar with. He Vic Star 123, or Vic for short. Part of the famous YouTube yeah. collective of Sidemen. He was playing Call of Duty Warzone with a few pals when he noticed Mr. Slazy's godlike aim. And when the team looked him up, they all found his tiny streaming channel. Wow. He's actually streaming. He is live. And he's cheating, bro. That's crazy. Imagine getting it, it, it just not any YouTuber. You're talking about one of the founding members of Sidemen, bro. Nah, you gotta no, you gotta end your career after that. You have to. You have to end your career after so, that. Vic Find something else. To give him the attention he was so desperately craving by spectating Mr. Slazy's stream for his millions of subscribers to see. That's crazy. He brought it on himself. Don't be in those games cheating. That's crazy. Wow. And he ain't even trying to hide it. Like. How is this fun? Vic and Co. continued to mock Mr. Slazy. It's not. That's what I'm going to say. Like, it's not fun. The fun part is, you know, when you. The thing is, is this. What's fun about a video game is that the game can be challenging. And then once you learn it, once you understand it, and then you get good at it just by natural skill, 
that's what's fun. Cheating, there's that. There's no fun. The thing is, is this. He probably had fun at one point in time in this game, but then it just got way too hard for him, and then that's when he started using these cheats. It's not fun. I'm going to tell you that right now. Cheating is not fun. Urging people in-game to report him while laughing at his terrible gameplay and calling out the game developer Activision for such a blatant lack of cheat control. Who's shooting gophers at that's crazy. And then, finally, Mr. Slazy got exactly what he deserved. He got banned? Oh, he got... <laughs> wow. That's what I'm saying. It's like that, and that would be me. That would be me. As soon as the game starts, that would be me. Uh, end up getting killed, and I'm like, bro... I'm out here using hacks, and I still take a L? Nah, bro. Then that, at that point, I got to do some Bob Rush streams. I got to go get me some um, canvases and start painting. I'm like, I can't do this no more. All those hacks and you still lose? What a sad little life, <laughs> Mr. Sleazy. Sorry, Mr. Slazy. After being put on blast by Vic, Mr. Slazy soon nuked his Facebook gaming account. <laughs> what? Was that too much attention? P -Y -P -Y Bruh, a okay. kid? It's not just mainstream games that people cheat on, as players of Crunker know all too well. This free-to-play game is a first-person shooter, like Call of Duty, but with a Roblox aesthetic. Baby's first-person shooter, if you will. And it's not always adults who use cheats, as player wow. and Twitch streamer PYPYPK proved all too well. Back in 2018, Bro. this kid had the bright idea to stream himself hacking Crunker with an aimbot and wall hacks to all of about three people. <laughs> it's like, I it just, it trips me out when it's like, the big games I can understand because there's so many different people playing them. But it's like, when it's a small game, bro, it, it really trips me out when I hear like smaller games where people, you even got cheaters in there. Like there's at times where I'll be looking up games on Steam and then uh, it'll be like, yeah, some free game or whatever. And then people are like, oh, I had to stop playing this game because of cheaters. And I'm like, bro, nobody don't even really know this game. You mean to tell me a game, a small game guy? It's crazy, man. It is honestly insane. But got your people out there where they're trash at a game, and so they're all like, "Oh, let me, let me cheat." Oh come on! Yeah, even with the hacks, he still wasn't very good. That's crazy. Which is something the small Crunker community soon picked up on. Footage of PYPYPK streaming his cheats was posted to Crunker's subreddit. Where he was lambasted by the community. Eventually, someone hunted down his profile page and lobbied the game's mod team to ban him. It wasn't long before the account had the word hacker branded over it. Oh, wow. And PYPYPK quickly disappeared from both Crunker and Twitch. Day. Okay, maybe try this gaming thing again when you hit puberty. <laughs> then you'll have hit something. Well, hopefully, even if you're as skillless as PYPYPK, you can still hit those like and subscribe buttons down I below. I like, yeah. All done? Yeah. Great. Who have we got next? The Austin U.S. Back in 2022, the Austin U.S. decided to try his hand at streaming Call of Duty on Twitch. It's a very competitive scene, but his aim was impeccable, and his instinct regarding his opponent's locations was incredibly accurate. And that's the thing that trips me out. I'm like, look, people, if you want your aim to be good, this is my, this is the best possible advice I could give you. Play a lot of FPS games, FP, like any FPS, um, FPS game of any sorts, play a lot of them. Um, single player games at that. If you find yourself a good single player game, that's how you um, work on your aim. There's, uh, they just came out with a RoboCop game. Um, I know Battlefield, they have like a uh, like a practice um, mode that you can play where you can like test out different. And I think they should um, start adding that in uh, Call of Duty where it's like a practice war zone mode or practice multi. Yeah, like combat training, like how they did in uh, um, Call of Duty Black Ops. I think if they were to add something like that, maybe 
people might stop cheating if they just work on their skill. But if not, then yeah, I think, yeah, you just going to have more and more people cheating. But I think like people, you got to practice. You don't see LeBron James or any other um, basketball player, football player, soccer player, baseball player. You don't see nobody out there cheating. So it's like, fam, because they practice, they, they learn, they actually teach themselves something. That's what you got to do with the game. You can't cheat in no game, people. I like skill that got a few people interested and not in a good way. It wasn't long before they accused him of cheating. And after enough people began calling him out, he was quick to confess to using an aimbot. But that wasn't the best part of catching him out. Several months before the accusations, the Austin U.S. was midstream and apparently forgot that the world could see his setup. Either oblivious to the ramifications or just straight up dumb, he proceeded to stream himself visiting the cheat site Phantom Overlay. He went to log in, which filled in his details automatically, showing <laughs> he already had an account with them, before exposing a neat little list of all his previous cheat orders, which was wow. 195 euro, about 200 bucks. Most of these. He spent $200? No, I thought this stuff was free. Nah. Oh, you are sad, bro. Nah, like, that's crazy. It, it's one thing if it's free. Okay, it's free, you know. You're paying $200 just to... That's... Man, that is crazy. I just... No. I, there's no way possible. That's even more so a reason why I know I'll never cheat. Because it's like, fam, I didn't spend $200 on shoes where I'm like... I, I regret this and things. But, uh, you know, I still, like, you know, make some sort of use out of it. $200 just to cheat in the game? Nah, bro. That's The thing is, is this. It's bad enough that I'm putting $60. Well, I guess if you're just playing Warzone, it's free. It, you should not be doing that, man. No. You, you got to find something else to do. Got to find something else to do. The game he was playing at the time. Mm, certainly explains that 4.8 kill to death ratio. But really. That's crazy. Why would you waste that much money on cheats? If you want to beat someone that badly, why not use that money to buy an easier game that even kids can play? Uh, might I suggest <laughs> Floby. Random seed Minecraft speedrunning is a very particular type of speedrunning. Unlike most games, which require muscle memory and refined techniques to get a good time, random seed Minecraft runs require sound logic and an acute mathematical ability because the map you spawn into is different every time. These are what's known as blind runs. And back in 2021, speedrunner Floby, or Toxic Flow, who'd been speedrunning Minecraft for a few months, suddenly uploaded a video of a blind run with a time of 11 minutes, 37 seconds. At the time, this placed Floby's run in the Felt a sticker underneath my foot, and I was all like, bro, what is what is going on with my foot? Let me make sure I'm lined up. Okay, there we go. Kind of had me worried for a second. I was like, bro, what is this on my foot? Top 10 fastest of all time. Cheating in Minecraft is crazy. Call of Duty, I can understand. Minecraft, you're supposed hey, to have hey. fun. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, hey. my God. Let's go. Hey, I got that is some oh, crazy cheating. stuff, man. Less than two months later, they uploaded three runs that were all under 15 minutes, which is pretty wild for someone as new to speedrunning as Floby was. This caught the attention of several Minecraft veterans, one of which, 11D Billion, broke down each of Floby's runs and came to one damning conclusion. They had to be cheating. Why? Because Floby's luck was either off the scale or they already knew the locations of several key elements across the map and were working to a predetermined plan over a landscape they knew, not a random map. For hmm. example, at this point in the run, any speedrunner worth their salt would be looking around for a fortress. But Floby makes a beeline in a random direction without looking around or behind them even once. Wow. Here, lava housing can be seen, which takes precious time to get rid of. Most speedrunners would have just reset the game at this point. But Floby persevered. Because, as 11D Billion pointed out, Floby wasn't improvising. He was working to a plan for a map he'd already run several times. Wow. But that wasn't the only way he was caught out. When you reset in Minecraft, you have to select several options to create your new world. To speed this process up, 
a macro was built that sped through the process, and the click sound effects it generates are compressed into this. Short That's crazy. However, veteran Minecraft player Ninja Brain noticed the same macro Floby used on their run sounded like this. <laughs> two extra clicks, but the macro worked the same. Ninja Brain realized the clicks could only have occurred if Floby's macro included two extra steps, selecting more world options, then pasting in a specific seed. They then removed the selection showing the more world options screen to make the seed look random, even though it was one they knew and had practiced. Their mistake was leaving in those two extra clicks. <laughs> they later apologized to the community and revealed that all but one of their recent runs had been faked. After that, they deleted their YouTube channel, changed all their socials, and disappeared. Wow. Well, with analysts as thorough as Ninja Brain and 11 D Billion, I pity anyone else who thinks about trying to get away with cheating on a Minecraft speedrun. Cheating against Minecraft is just Shoot. that is some that is some insane stuff, man. Like I the shooter games, okay. I just man, you know, it brings me back to I remember when people they used to cheat because I play a lot of racing games. Now I feel like people are gonna see this video that they're gonna be like, oh no, now I gotta see if he's cheating. Yeah, guys, I cheat, I cheat in Forza. I I have wall hacks. How? Yeah, wall hacks and you know, it's, it's just some some randomness and things. But anyways, no, I remember though back uh, when Midnight Club Los Angeles used to be a thing, and people would like they was modding the game to where they cars would do like three four hundred miles per hour, and I'm like, bro. No games is safe. I'm like, it's going to be literally the most easiest game. A game that anybody can pick up, and I guarantee and I promise you, people are going to cheat in it. GTK. To prove they're not cheating, some streamers will set up a monitor cam so that their audience can see their setup and check that there isn't another hidden screen that they're <clears> using with the cheats on. This is exactly what popular Call of Duty player Shiv GTK did when he competed in a 2021 Vanguard tournament with a $7,000 prize pool. Wow. Both his monitors looked clean with no obvious hacking menus or red boxes to be seen. But when his team went on to beat professional esports team Optic, everyone began to look at the monitor cam a little more carefully. As they picked apart some suspicious gameplay where Shiv was setting a bomb, they noticed that on the monitor cam, an incredibly tiny white dot could be seen shooting across the screen. I'm Did you see it? Hang on, let me zoom in. Right about here. Did you see that? Huh. Well, that white dot just so happens to coincide with an enemy player appearing around the corner. Oh, That's wow. One with the settings altered so that the enemy locations are barely visible to the monitor cam, but a wall hack nonetheless. Chef That's was crazy. Disqualified from the tournament, but he didn't take his punishment well. Instead of silently deleting all his social media and streaming profiles like any other exposed cheater, Shiv set one last bomb before disappearing. He sent out a tweet naming a long list of other players who he claimed had been cheating too. What? <laughs> Talk about He's out to nah. There's this movie um called New Jack City. Uh, Wesley Snipes is in it, and uh, Ice T. And there's like the very end part of the movie where Wesley Snipes. I, like I don't know. I feel like I feel kind of like wrong for spoiling the movie. I guess for anybody out there that has seen the movie, I'm not gonna tell you what the movie was about. But there was a part where Wesley Snipes was in um pr uh well he was in the courtroom and he just started telling on everybody. He was like, if I'm going down, I'm taking everybody down with. That's exactly. Exactly what this guy pulled the new Jack City. He, he snitched on everybody. Causeway. Now, I need help with this next one because I can't tell if it's a setup or just plain stupid. An anonymous viewer sent me a clip of an unnamed Twitch streamer who had his Discord chat application opened. Nicknamed Cause, the Discord user is chatting to DaBaby. Seems legit. While his desktop boasts a couple of questionable apps, including the aptly named Cheat Engine and Wiimod. These are well-known hack locations, if you will, <clears throat> with each one enabling users to install mods and cheats for different games. And in this Discord call, Cause sends DaBaby a Wiimod file, 
before heading into a game of NBA 2K21. DaBaby is also streaming NBA 2K21, so it appears both of them are using or planning to use Wiimod to access cheats in a game. A little look at the game Cause is playing brings up a character called twitch.tv slash Cosway. Surely this guy isn't dumb enough to have streamed himself sharing <laughs> cheats with someone else who was also streaming himself receiving those same cheats? If so, is this really the streamer Cosway or someone trying to set him up? Because this is a level of dumb that's so dumb. It's so <laughs> world, difficult. Nah, they got, we got to come out with a show now. They're like world's dumbest streamers and things. Just like world's dumbest criminals, world's dumbest streamers. Oh, well, Cosby's Twitch channel does boast a few videos where he claims he was permanently banned from the game Roblox. It's How do you get banned from Roblox? That's not exactly incriminating. So what do you think? Is this streamer actually Cosby? Or was someone setting him up? Let me know down in the comments below. Well, why would why would somebody have their uh, Twitch name or have a random person's Twitch name underneath their uh, like name for a game? You usually see that with people that are um, the streamer themselves. You're not going to see it with just some random person. So maybe who knows? Maybe it might be somebody trying to set him up. But I, I don't know. That that's just that's what do you have to? Oh, maybe no. Then again, if he was um got banned in Roblox and he was if he was cheating in Roblox, then yeah, it's probably somebody that just really a Roblox player that don't like him. And then yeah, they was like, no, nah, we're gonna set him up in all games and we're gonna set him up on some 2K stuff. That would be crazy. But yeah, that's just I just, people stop cheating, okay? Just stop, okay. please. Back in 2021, India's The Esports Club Invitational welcomed teams to play Valorant for a prize pool of 300,000 rupees, some $4,000 at the oh. time. It attracted teams from all over the nation, with more than $4,000 for fans $4, watching the stream at its peak. However, after the first round of quarterfinals, a hammer was brought down on Team Paratroopers. One of their players, X Hade had suddenly received a permanent ban from Valorant. Pressing to using hacks while playing Valorant. Uh, permanent ban, eh, boy. Permanent. I mean, esports right thing. That's crazy. Uh, PC Valorant ne aise bol diya ki ab nahi khel sakta. Kal unka like post aane wala hai. That is crazy. Hade claimed this must have been a mistake. That it must just be a glitch. Fans supported him. His team reached out to Valorant's developer Riot Games for clarification, and paratroopers were allowed to continue competing in the tournament with a substitute. Although, they lost their very next match. Dang. Talk about foreshadowing. x -Hade continued to deny all cheating allegations, but then on a streamed Discord call with the paratroopers team lead, Binks, he said this. So he hadn't been using hacks in the tournament, but he had been using them before because he desperately wanted to get to a higher level in game. That's crazy. Uh, not exactly the endearing defense he seems just to think. Just playing the game, I guess. Yeah, that's just that's out the question. It's like why why play games nowadays? No, it's just that's just what games need to be. You know, and it's that's one thing that I like about some games is that when you because I think there's this game is Ground Branch. I know Ready or Not is like that. Then this new game that came out called Contain. Like, there are some games out there is like that where they just give you all, like, the weapons. They give you all, like, the cosmetics, all that stuff. Yeah, they might release some things down the road in the future, but there ain't nothing leveled based in the games. And I think some games need to be like that because, yeah, it's like you just got people out there that's cheating and then it just ruined the experience of the game, so... Yeah, it, I feel like even if that is the case, it's like, they like, oh, okay, well, if I, I'll find some reason to cheat in this game, so. It wasn't long before Riot Crazy man. a statement revealing x -Hade had been using prohibited third-party software, a fancy way of saying cheats, which they'd detected, and so had banned his account permanently. With the confession and the permaban, x -Hade deleted his YouTube account and disappeared. Dang. For just a month. Despite the ban, he was back playing on a new account and for a new team soon after. Wow. Yeah. 
Well, I guess once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> Jamar from afar. More you Minecraft don't need thousands of followers to expose cheaters these days. All you really need is a streaming account of your own, a little patience, and the hope that eventually the cheater you're spectating will slip up. <laughs> which is exactly what Poet TTV, or Sage Poet, managed to do. He was streaming himself to a small audience as he spectated a Minecraft high pixel streamer called Jamar from Afar, and another streamer called H without S. He figured they were probably using cheats, and so sat in wait trying to catch one of them in the act. And as he was, something sketchy flashed up on the left, right in the middle of Jamar from Afar's screen. Hacking ESP and all. And then he tabs me over. <laughs> that menu, yo. Yep. Computer, rewind and enhance. Ah, uh, yes. A Minecraft cheat software menu That's with crazy. player ESP, aka wall hacks, selected while in a public server. Well, Jamar from Afar's account on YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok appeared to be linked to another account called Tech Panda Gaming. Now, Tech Panda seems to be banned on Twitch, mm. but Tech Panda Gaming's YouTube account is still live. It hosts videos with long, rambling descriptions where they hmm. claim they're banned from playing in certain Minecraft servers like Hypixel and that the anti-cheat is broken. Mm, clearly not as broken as you seem to think, <laughs> my banned for cheating friend. That's crazy, man. Mechorazium. The more speedrunning I watch, the more respect I have for it. It takes hundreds, sometimes thousands of hours to memorize an entire game and get the button presses and timings just right. All to complete it. I don't game. know. Like, I, I just, I think the one game I did try this speed run, and it was this, like, puzzle game, but still, I, I was, like, speed running it, but was also taking my time. But it was this, like, puzzle game called Super Liminal, I think. And, um, yeah, that game, I was like, the way I was playing it, I was like, that game gonna send my brain into a frenzy trying to rememberize stuff. And then, yeah, it was, because I played the game already before, and then I um, ended up buying it again. I think I played it, I think I played it on my Xbox, and then I bought it again on PC, and then was, yeah, so I was like, it was, that game was crazy. And I was like, nope, I'm just gonna, I am gonna try to speed run, but I am taking my time, because I'm like, this game... My brain can't take all that. Fastest time possible. Events like Games Done Quick showcase some of the best players in their game categories, inviting them to show off their skills in front of huge live and online audiences. It's a lot of pressure for speedrunners, which some just can't handle. Speedrunner Mechorazium, for example, was invited to the 2022 Summer Games Done Quick event, speedrunning Metal Gear Rising Revengeance remotely. The run itself seemed legitimate, but after a charity donation goal was met, he asked to play through the game's Blade Wolf DLC as well. But that's when Mechorazium raised some red flags. Uh, it's actually pretty hard to get past this grad because he has an eyes on, on his like. Did you notice anything wrong with that clip? No. Something popped up on that thing. Take a look at what he's doing with his hands here. So he's playing on a PC with his mouse in his right hand. If that's so, how does his avatar move around a mouse-controlled action while his right hand is in the air? <laughs> well, he claims he moved the mouse with his left hand, eh, that's one heck of an odd choice, especially at a timed event. Spectators also noticed an audible lack of keyboard noises in the Blade Wolf segment. Wow. He broke the record for the run by a whole 25 seconds, and not everyone was convinced it was legit. Then in July, he came clean to one of SGDQ's enforcement heads. As they suspected, the run had been pre-recorded and spliced to perfection. Wow. It was an ideal run, just not one he'd performed live, having switched out the save files after he'd finished the main run. But he That's didn't hide crazy. Any lame excuses. He apologized profusely, acknowledged that he'd acted selfishly, and said he didn't want the run considered for any leaderboards, as it would be unfair to the rest of the community. Games Done Quick banned him from attending any future events Dang. and scrubbed his records from their YouTube archive. Well, ironically, it looks like this one's going to take time to move on from. That's 
like, odd. <laughs> knew she was gonna be here but that's just man i know it was funny though i think i do remember a video like that a while ago where the guy i think he was playing um halo and he was like so he'll you'll hear him like um pressing buttons and i think he set his controller down and then you start seeing his uh player move and that's so he tried to like hurry up but yeah it was a pre-recorded video i think he found the video on youtube or something i'm like man that would be that would be insane if somebody was like oh somebody had used your video to do a speed run or to play a game and i'm like wait what there's like yeah they was in the tournament got banned but we recognized your name t moss boss i i would laugh like no i would send a video of that person just some like random like encrypted video that they would have to unlock by code have them go on some complete journey go to like the bermuda triangle or something once they find the code they type it in it's just a video of me laughing at them i'm like no that is insane bruh nadia when it comes to being accused of cheating no one has more fingers pointed yeah. out than Call of Duty Warzone player and streamer Nadia. She began streaming back in January 2021, <clears throat> and her Warzone gameplay attracted an audience of over 900,000 Twitch followers. But as her fans grew in number, so did the people who doubted her skill, and they began to pick apart every second of her gameplay. It seems like every guy with facial hair and access to the Fortnite font has made a video about the <laughs> undeniable proof they have about Nadia cheating, lying, or being exposed. Some are creepily obsessed, but they have Dang. picked up on some questionable clips, like here. What? Oh, she shot in that area, yeah, and the guy wasn't. The wall in the same place someone is standing behind is pretty sus. It could indicate that she's using wall hacks. Yeah. However, others have pointed out that an ammo crate was dropped from that direction. So she heard someone there. She just didn't know where. Mm. Uh, that's reasonable. But what about here, where she was shadow banned? A protocol Activision enacts when it suspects a player of cheating and places them in special lobbies that are full of other suspected cheaters. So everybody cheating? Dang. <laughs> hunters were quick to claim this was more undeniable proof she was cheating. However, others argued that she'd been playing from a few different locations in the days prior, mimicking the effects of a VPN, which mm. might have triggered the ban. Whatever the case, she was unshadow banned by the developers Activision shortly after. Another point at a live Call of Duty event, she was apparently kicked out for cheating oh, yeah. while on stream. Oh, yeah, I remember that. But the footage supposedly showing her being kicked out by the mods for cheating shows she was actually just having tech issues and needed help. They weren't asking her to leave. Oh, because I think I remember somebody talked about it before. They was like, oh, yeah, she was cheating and stuff, and that's why she got kicked yeah. out. They, they, I had never heard nothing um, about, I guess, her having any tech issues. But anyways. Thank you. Some have gone one step further, like Rara, who released leaked messages supposedly from Nadia to some unknown person, claiming she had someone unlock camo skins for her guns on her account. Anyone who watched part four of this series might remember that's the same excuse Vanguard's number two player, Plexify, used after he was caught wall hacking. The two elements are linked, that's for sure. But without wall hacks slipping through onto Nadia's stream, it's not conclusive. Hmm. And a lot of others seem to agree. Renowned streamer and gamer XQC reviewed some of these clips and determined... Guys, if you're gonna, if you're gonna tell people are cheating, okay, do it the right way. Okay, I think these clips are just... They're just the accusations are endless, and all supposed proof of her cheating is far from airtight. This would be enough to chase almost anyone off, but not Nadia. Instead, she's cleverly leaned right into it, uploading videos titled I'm banned from Warzone <laughs> and I got kicked out for cheating. She constantly alludes to cheating, never giving in to offered PC scans, posting fake confessions layered in sarcasm, <laughs> and the hacker hunters have lapped it up, fueling her growth and theirs. Many Hacker Hunter channels most popular and profitable videos revolve around Nadia. So, yeah, I everyone wins. 
I don't know how many times I ain't seen videos. I'm like, it it gets to a point because it's like you watch one, then all of a sudden you see a bunch of them, and it's kind of like a TikTok thing where it's like you see some you see some like video with some popular audio, like it. Next thing you know, your whole like for you page is just flooded with it. It's like, dang, bruh, I, I okay, I get it. If the girl cheating, the girl cheating. If not, then it's like, dang, man, leave that girl alone. So, but I don't know. Like it's it's one of those things where it's like it's up in the air. I mean, if she is cheating, then it's messed up. She, at the end of the day, knows if she's cheating, if she's cheating. But, I mean, if she's not, then, yeah, that's just, that's crazy to just get called out, like, some on some stuff like that. But, that's, that's the content creating business. You know, you got some people out there where they just don't like you, and they want to find some, I guess, way to, oh, let me make a video and, you know, try to expose them on some random stuff. So, but, anyways. If these channels really wanted to take her down, They'd just stop making videos about her every moment. Wait for a real slip up, and then go. For Cause she's still playing it. the then, game. What would they make content about? Classic catch twenty two there. So, until we see wall hacks on her stream, or she receives a permanent ban from Activision, Naughty will be busy making everyone money. But do you think Naughty is cheating? Well, let me know down in the comments below. I think, yeah, then another thing is that, um, then she could, like, when she very first started emerging in the scene, she was like, oh, I'm the best, uh, like, female Call of Duty player and stuff, and so, yeah, it's like, when you just, I think is this is the case, it's like, when you got a lot of controversy surrounding you, and it's like, that, um, those are those videos, uh, where it's like, you got people exposing you for cheating and stuff, and then she's wondering, like, why she's not getting invited out. Because I'm like, yeah, you know, you got these, like, higher-ups in Activision that see those types of videos. Of course, they're going to do research about you when they look up Nadia. And they see all these, oh, Nadia exposed for cheating, Nadia exposed for cheating. It's not because you out here uh, doing OnlyFans stuff. No, it's because you got, like, a bunch of people making cheating videos about you. So, I guess, prove your skill. Prove that you're good. I'm saying at the end of the day, you got nothing to worry about. But yeah, if you're cheating, then it's like, then fam, stop cheating and get good at the game. But anyways. Exxon is. Cheating for clout is one thing, but cheating to get your hands on prize money is another level of low. One that Turkish player and professional Twitch streamer Exxon is was willing to sit <clears throat> to back in December 2022. Competing in Call of Duty Warzone World Classic, with a $100,000 prize pool up for grabs, suspicions about Exxonis were raised a few days before the event took place. He appeared to be aiming at opponents through walls, a telltale sign he probably had a wall hack active. During the tournament, viewers asked him to address these cheating allegations by proving he didn't have a secret monitor displaying all these hacks. Getting cocky, he opened up his display settings to prove he was only using two monitors but a third was detected in his setup. He tried to explain it as a glitch, and so set up a monitor camera, How's that glitch? which is where it all came crumbling down. During the tournament, he moved one of his monitors when an unusual-looking <laughs> menu <popped> up. <laughs> It's like, what you moving that screen for? Ungolulik. Anywhere. <laughs> It's like it do when you do stuff like that. That's like I mean you're you're pretty much saying, oh, I'm cheating, but don't look at anything. It's yeah, it's like bro, come on now. Initially, he tried to claim it was a display menu. Better excuse than pretending he'd flashed a picture, that's for sure. But the court of public opinion swiftly decided it was more likely cheat software. Activision was lambasted for not thoroughly vetting the player. And Exxonis guiltily deleted all his <laughs> social media and streaming accounts. Yeah, you uh, can't come back after that. Alexa, play Another One Bites the Dust. <laughs> know any more gamers who've been caught cheating that you didn't see in this video or in the other videos in the series? Let me know down below. And as always, thanks for watching. Yeah. People, they got to leave that cheating stuff alone, man. That's why I'm like, with me, I play, look, I play games that I'm either good at or I, you know, yeah, I'll play like games that I'm good at or I'll test out a game to see if I'm good at it. But yeah, bro, if I'm not good at that game, I'm not fooling with it. I'm like, nope, I'm good. I'm not gonna, you know, I ain't gonna fool with this game. So I was just talking about this on my stream too. I'm like, uh, for an example, Elden Rings. I know I'm not good at that game. I played Dark Souls before, and I'm like, bro, I couldn't even get past the first mission. So, yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, nope, if I'm not good at the game, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I, that's, that's just, it's gonna be on some stuff where I, I don't really like giving up, 
but I'm gonna have to give up, all right? So yeah, it's it's something where I'm like, I I know I'm not good. I ain't even gonna force myself to be good, and I'm definitely not gonna cheat. So. But anyways, if you guys haven't, make sure you go subscribe to Be Amazed for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.